Hello, my YouTube family. I'm coming back to show you how I'm going to make a small meatloaf by mixing some Italian sausage with it. Remember, this is from my Sam's video where I bought the pork sausage and divided it into one pound bags. So here is one pound of that. And this is approximately a pound of ground beef. So I have my onion and pepper. Not sure what seasoning I'm going to use, but let me go ahead and get this in a bowl so I can start to mixing and cutting up. Be right back. I think I'm going to use some adobo seasoning, which I have not used in a long time along with some garlic powder, of course. All right, family, I am back. I wanted to show you that I have seasoned my ground beef and my Italian sausage and also have cut up my onions and peppers. So what I am going to mix in this as a binder to hold it together is usually I use a egg beaten. But I'm going to try something different by using some crushed saltines. Because they got crushed in my lunchbox, that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. So I'll be right back. Alright family, I wanted to show you what it's looking like thus far. But I'll bring it back and show you when I have formed it into a ball. Alright family, I am back. And this is what my little mini loaf is looking like. And I have my pan here because I always spray things with cooking spray so nothing sticks. So I'm just going to place that in here like so. And let it cook on three 50 starting out at 30 minutes but I would check it in 15 because I'm not sure if I'm going to use a sauce on top which is more like a tomato paste type deal or if I'm just going to use ketchup barbecue sauce bacon I'm not sure but your choices are endless be right back I think I'm going to sprinkle the top of the meatloaf with this roasted onion and garlic herb. Something different. <clears throat> and I may not put any sauce on top, but I don't know. Cooking is fun. It's all about experimenting and figuring it out as you go along. All right, so there you have it, and I'm going to put it in the convection oven at 350 for starting at 30 minutes. All right, family, I am back. I did check it after 15 minutes, but I didn't add any toppings, and as you see, it is swimming in oil, and that is from the meat. So before I remove it, let me go ahead and cut to make sure that it is done in the middle. And it seems like it, but I just want to double check. Well, I can't really tell, so I'm going to have to take it out of the pan. Okay, family, it is not done yet. I'm going to put it back in the convection oven for another 15 minutes, but I am going to pour this oil off. So I'll be right back. And remember, do not pour oils in your sink in the drain. Use an old container that is going to be thrown away anyway. So I'm going to pour 
this oil in here. Okay, it's not focusing. All right, there we go. I'm going to pour this oil in here just like that. Well, and as you see, I made a mess, but at least I can wipe it up and it didn't go on my burner. So, I'm going to put it back in the convection oven. If you recycle without the oil, it will be a recycled item. But with the oil, it is now trash. All right, family, I am back. Because I cooked this on low heat, it took a while to get done. So I did cook it on 350 for one hour. And it is now done. I may just leave it plain and then top it with bacon bits when I serve. But this is the finished product. So family, if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button. In the comments, type I subscribed. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to where you'll never miss another one of my videos. And share it with all of your family and friends. And with that being said, take care and be safe. Thank you.